Namaste everyone, it's Jenny. Thank you all for tuning in and watching my videos. Make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notifications on new videos, new content that is coming up, okay? Like my videos, it really helps it. And let me know what's going on with you guys, right? Like there's so much energy happening this month and, and currently right now, like I, I literally just did a video on Mercury retrograde, um, one on Zodiac for all your signs, specifically for love, one on your Zodiac signs for your career, your love, what's happening for you and this full moon that's coming up. So we have a lot of energies happening right now, okay? Let me know what's going on. And because we have a lot of energy, as I call it, we have solar flare, solar flare energy. And with this solar flare energy, it can cause a lot of friction. Like some of you guys have noticed that you're sleeping a lot more or you're like, God, I. You know, I, I didn't sleep last night. Why am I having headaches? Why am I like, why is my eyes bothering me? Why am I so like freaked out? Why, like, I don't feel like my life is going anywhere. Like you're gonna find that your emotions are like literally like right all over the place right now. Like all, all over the planet, as I call it. We might as well say our energy and our feelings and our emotions are all over the planet, right? With this cosmic energy whenever you're feeling scattered right it, it's normal right now and the best way to handle this energy is to ground yourself as best as you can okay um, wearing hematite like I have hematite on I have like my red jasper I have like I have a lot of different crystals on right now um, to help me stay grounded because if if I don't wear my crystals I will feel I'll leave my body and then I get all kind of floaty right so make sure you guys meditate take some time out for you and um get in touch with nature like for you empaths you're gonna find that i can't be around other people right now i i can't hear the radio i can't listen to music i can't listen to tv i can't be around other people okay and it's because you're so sensitive and this energy is making you more sensitive right now okay this Mercury retrograde energy is causing friction. This um, full moon that's coming up here, watch the video I just did. I talked about the full moon that's coming up on September the 9th. A lot of energies are happening right now. Okay, so this energy with the solar flares, it's creating a little bit of havoc, okay? It's creating just creating disruptions with the earth you could find there could be more earthquakes more storms um it, you know a lot more madness is coming to the sur surface um, a lot more violence and such like that and it's because everybody reacts differently and this energy will affect your animals i have done so many readings animal communication here lately and um, a lot of animals are passing right now. Have you noticed that you will see that, my goodness, you know, my my friend's dog, they, you know, we just had to put them down. And then all of a sudden you'll see other animals. Like you'll, you'll see all of these listings where all of these animals, you know, have been passing because they're very sensitive to this energy and they're also gonna be even more clingy to you, okay? So just really, really pay attention to this right now. This video, by the way, I am dedicating this video specifically to Mr. Bossman. May his soul rest in peace. The reason why I chose, I do photography, um, and the reason I chose this cover photo, if you noticed, um, the red, or I mean the pink and the blue clouds, is because before I talked to Mr. Bossman's mom, I kept on hearing pink, blue clouds. So I thought, you know, let me go through my photos. I've done sunset photos. And I chose the blue and pink clouds of sunset. So go back and look at, at the video, at the cover of this video. And as I was talking to his mom today, 
you know, the name Blue. They're, they're getting all of these signs for Blue. Their other dog name is Blue. All of these pink and blue signs are coming in. And I told her today, I said, I am gonna dedicate this video to Mr. Bossman. I'm going to do it. And I wanted to say this right now before I forgot all about it. So please keep an eye on your animals, everyone. Um, they're more sensitive than, than normal right now. And they're gonna be a lot more clingy to you, okay? And especially whenever you're sad or you're feeling anxious or stressed out, they're gonna be even more clingier to you as well. Okay, so show show some love and compassion towards your animals and also yourself. Please don't forget yourself for love and compassion, okay? And this energy right now, it, it also takes you back to the year 2000 and 2016. So if you go back into that time frame period, you could have, you know, if you remember, look at what you were doing then. Were you starting a new relationship, a new job? Did you just move somewhere? You know, what happened back then? And what ended back then? So to give you an example, so let's say if um, you met someone back in 2016, that you're like, wow, is, is this my person? But you haven't really hooked up with that person. You really haven't gotten anything going with that person for, for whatever reason. You might find that right now, that this time frame, especially with the solar flare energy and Mercury retrograde brings people back from the past and this full moon energy in Pisces, this might be an opportunity for this person to come around and maybe it's that time for you two to hook up, to connect. Or maybe if you are in a relationship or you started a relationship, for instance, back in 2016, you might find that, or 2000, that these energies right now, you're gonna be like, oh my goodness, my marriage or my partnership um, or my business contact, my business partner, whoever it is, things are ending. You know, things aren't going well, things are ending. And with this Pisces full moon energy, it's also showing you that what is ending, let it end. It's for your highest good and higher self, okay? And what is beginning to come in, what is beginning to come through, really pay attention to that as well. Okay, a lot of brand new beginnings are current right now. Okay, so really, really pay attention um, to this right now. The vibration and the frequency is going really high. Like I have a tendency to do a lot of channeling during these high vibrational frequencies right now. I get bits and pieces showing about my future and such like that. So take that quiet time out, especially this week. This week, you're gonna be more sensitive. You could be more angry. You could be more anxious. You could be more sad. You know, if you're sad, cry. That's why God gave us these tears, okay? Really embrace that. Like some of you might have like, you know, I feel really nauseated. I, I just, I can't eat these certain foods. You know, some of you are going to be like, gosh, you know, like my knees and my calves, especially right now, your knees and your calves, your neck, you know, different muscles in your body, you might find that are a little bit more sore, you know, sit back and really like put a cloth on your head. Let's say if you got a headache, I also use um, lapis lazuli. I have crystals in my house. I have that crystal. Um, I'm not wearing it on jewelry, but I have the piece somewhere that, and, and if you have a headache, put it on your forehead because that can help clear your energy with that headache and such like that. So these solar flares are gonna make you feel a lot more thirsty. I mean, I'm, I'm always drinking a lot more water as it is, okay? And um, these solar flares will make you feel a lot more thirsty. So make sure you do that, like if you're a runner, if you're a jogger and especially if you're outside, um, you know, not only just the water like drink, um, cause there's no vitamins in that. If you have like Gatorade or Powerade, anything that keeps your electrolytes high and strong, that's what you want to get and that's what you want to drink. I actually had, I used to run eight miles a day, believe it or not, um, years ago. And I ended up getting sunstroke and, and it was, 
it was horrible. My body was full of acid. There was like no nutrients, no vitamins. I could barely function. And my doctor told me, you know, like, why are you not drinking Gatorade or Powerade? And I'm like, because it, it tastes salty. I don't like that. He says, there's no water in your, there's no vitamins in your water. You need to build your electrolytes back up. So that was like a real wake up call. You know, make sure you're wearing a hat as well. The energy of the earth changes. So that sun can be really strong right now. Like normally you can be outside and you're like, yeah, it's really warm, you know, it's cloudy, but it's, you know, I'm gonna be okay. No, that sun, that prana energy can really zap you guys. Okay, so pay attention to that energy as well. And go after what you are wanting to do. Like this week brings on even contracts as well. So if you're having, um, like if you have to resign a lease, if you're buying a home where there's contracts, um, legal papers, anything to do on that nature, really pay attention to what you're signing. Really read all of the details if you're not sure. Make sure that you have a lawyer or somebody read it over solicitor so you know what you're getting yourself involved with. With this Mercury energy, Mercury retrograde energy too, it's bringing people back from your past. So it gives you that opportunity to reset things as well. Um, you can watch that video I did separately on Mercury retrograde on what to expect and how to use, utilize and work with that energy. Okay, so I'm just gonna pull a couple of cards here collectively. Um, for those of you who know me, I'm a clairvoyant psychic medium animal communicator, past life cash record. I never use cards because I'm clairvoyant, okay? But um, because we're doing this collectively, I'm gonna pull a couple of cards and see what spirit has to say, okay? So I'm going to be using the deck here. Um, it's one of my favorites, like, um, decks. I have lots of favorite decks. Make sure you clear it three times on wood, okay? I mention this all the time, but when you like bang, bang, bang it on wood three times, it clears your energy and or it clears whoever used the cards last. Very important, okay? So because this is very cosmic, I'm gonna use this deck by Kyle Gray. It's so beautiful. It's called Gateway of Light Activation. Very beautiful. So let's ask Spirit collectively, what is the message to help collectively for everyone through these solar flare energies? You gotta remember the solar flares, it's fire, right? It brings a lot of heat to the earth. It creates fires, it creates things to boil up. It causes like disruptions, you know, like technical issues, like all kinds of things, right? So what is the message collectively um, to help everyone through the solar flare energy. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Wow. I love this deck. Star gathering, stars aligned, remembering home, soul family. Look how beautiful that is. Like I love doing, I love, um, taking photos of the stars. I, I, I just love it. I really haven't had a lot of time to do that lately, but look how beautiful that looks right there. See the water right there. Water represents emotions. Okay, so to heal, anytime you guys want, if you're by the water or a lake, especially empaths, or if you're very sensitive, you might find that you're more drawn to go by the water because it will help you heal. Whenever you're looking at the water, see how smooth this water is, okay? But if you look at this water and you're like, oh, I don't know, that looks pretty scary, Jenny, right? You know? It, it shows you where your emotions are at, that you're holding on to a lot of fears right now. And this energy with the solar flares, it does bring on a lot of anxiety, a lot of fears. You know how I said that you're like, you know what, I don't know if I'm on the right path. I don't I don't know who I am. I, I don't know what my journey is about. I don't, all of those things. You can always book an appointment with Jenny. And I can give you more clarity on that too, guys, right? But. But if you look at the water here, it shows, it looks, for me anyways, it looks very calm. Today's been absolutely amazing for me. I'm so grateful. So right now my emotions are very calm. That could change in seconds, but. Um, so I see this as being calm waters, where some of you, you could be like, oh wow, that's so beautiful, it's creative. So for an artist, you might be like, you know, I'm gonna start painting, or I'm gonna start doing digital art, 
or you know I'm gonna start getting my like paints or crayons or pencil crayons or whatever watercolors out you do that because really pay attention to your creative ideas as well this week very important okay if you're hearing you know I should be doing this I should do that or I should get back in my paints or whatever make sure you do that okay so let's pull another card for the collective what's the collective message here for everyone to help us through these solar flare spirit what's the collective message for everyone right now from spirit what's the co Ooh. oh yes I love it Merkaba activation Merkaba activation transcendence ascension you are rising up you know how I talked about the frequency is rising up the vibrational frequency is rising up indeed it is it's rising up through your crown so oh you know how I said I channel in information especially during high um, energy frequency times I, I've been hearing a lot of messages coming through for me this week personally um, and, and collectively worldwide as well mind you but um, for some of you really pay attention to your intuition especially this week of what information you're getting through what messages your soul is saying to you if you can meditate more if possible you know take some time out for you you know and I everybody you know you can have a busy schedule and I understand that I, I'm very busy as well but even if you normally whatever bedtime you have maybe try going to bed even a half hour earlier if you can or an hour earlier you know and pick up a book and start reading or um, meditating like whatever it is you can always take a little extra time out for you very important set some boundaries around people I've had people slamming me with messages and um, my priority is getting back to my clients by the way so um, and if I have time I get back to other people so transcendence ascension you're shifting you're moving forward okay your energy is and vibration is moving up how wonderful so let's pull another couple of cards shall we and these are dedicated to mr. Bossman so in dedication of mr. Bossman I'm going to use the deck by Stephen Farmer power animal Oracle cards well, let's pull a card collectively for our animals because a lot of animals this month are passing on okay what is the collective message for animals this month and for us what is the collective message for all of us right now wow I wow I wow I felt this <laughs> without going into lots of details the owl how many of you have seen an owl I've, I've had I think four people in the past two weeks have said wow Jenny I'm seeing owls like this owl is coming around to me pay attention to the signs our animals give us signs or even if they're not your animals let's say because nobody really has an owl as a pet realistically right so pay attention to the messages that animals are giving you and you know people are like well I know I'm not an animal communicator I get that I understand that like I'm an animal communicator right but sit back and eat. whatever animal you see even if you don't get the message you know you can say okay mr. Al what's the message for me sit in silence just sit in silence and see if you're hearing any messages don't force the message do not do that go with the flow and surrender it if you don't hear a message don't worry about it but the, the main focus right now is pay attention to the signs like especially if you're seeing your animal being more clingy right now that's okay the energies are really intense okay like your animals you know they, they might be drinking a lot more water because of the solar flares they might be a little bit more ang anxious and stuff like that and that's okay too please show them compassion pick them up and show them love please do that and if you have any concerns about your animal please take them to the vet very important okay so <clears throat> let's pull another card collectively from the animals what's the message collectively for us for the animals during the solar flare for this week what is the what is the message collectively from the animals to us to help us through the solar flare energy right now what's the message from our animals what's the message from <laughs> oh 
The squirrel, preparation. Get ready for big changes, absolutely. During this time, Mercury retrograde, new moon, full moon, solar flares, you name it, there's always changes. And you know, even how that other card said, pay attention to the signs, there's always the signs. If you're starting to get those signs where you're not happy with your job, for instance, pay attention, right? Know your worth. Is it time for you maybe to start a new job or start a new business? Is it time for you to maybe end that relationship that's toxic that you just, you don't want to be around anymore? Is it time to make changes with your health or maybe to move? Really pay attention to these signs that spirit and your soul is trying to tell you and show you and communicate with you. That's so important. Okay. I love the little squirrel. I love him. Isn't he so cute? I love all animals. I, I got to go to the zoo. I got to go to the zoo. I miss the zoo. So I'm going to pull another deck here, another card. And I'm going to be using, um, what deck am I going to be using here? What deck am I going to be using here, you guys? Here we go. I'm just going to pull angel cards, saints, saint and angels by um, Doreen Virtue. I, I love Doreen Virtue's cards. It's so beautiful. There's such, you know, there's so many amazing artists out there. Like so beautiful talent, talent. I knew a very gifted artist. He passed on. Just, oh, I love his work. So many people are so gifted. Follow your passions, you know, and whenever you follow your passions, it can lead you to your destiny. It leads you to part of who you are. It leads you to your previous lifetimes. It leads you and it can lead you to your destiny. It's a part of your soul. Okay, follow your passions, you know, like my photography for me, um, it's like a real meditation for me. So when I go out there, I, it's it's very relaxing, very meditative, you know, and as I'm downloading my photos, you know, it's one of my one of my many passions. I have many passions, but it's one of my biggest passions, photography. I, I just love it. So follow your passions, okay? It can really help ground you, show you more, lots of things. It can take you further. I even had Nat Geographic like a couple of my photos and comment, and I'm like, what? What are you talking about, right? You can follow me on uh, Jenny G Instagram, um, Jenny G Photography on Instagram, by the way, too, um, to see some of my photos. But anyways, we, we won't talk about that. So what is the message collectively for the solar flare from the angels? What's the message? for? Oh, what card is that? Reward from your guardian angel. Reward. <coughs> Excuse me. You know how I said follow your passions? Follow what you resonate with. If you want to start a new job, if you want to start a new relationship, if you have done a lot of work within, um, some of you are going to start getting uh, more recognition for your work. Um, and, you know, be grateful for that. You know, where, where some people are like, well, you know, I worked hard. Why is that person getting acknowledged and recognized? Please don't be like that. Okay. You really, you know, we all have our own time vibes. Um, when we get rewarded and such like that, it goes with karma and so many different things. You should be saying, wow, I'm so very happy for you. Good for you. That's amazing. Why would you want to um, lower your energy and lower, lower your vibe and go into the ego modality and be jealous of somebody? That that's out, it, It's not accept, accepted by me whatsoever. So if any of you are like that, um, don't, don't even get me started right um, people work really hard to get where they're at right um, but anyways anyways um, let's pull another card from the angels um, what the message is from the angels wow this card like boom automatically fell out this is a card and one of the biggest messages I, I could say out of all of these cards I've done so far is to retreat take time out for you these energies right now can be very harsh very emotional it can bring in a lot of anger a lot of high tension right you're going to see a lot of um especially mid-month september by the way you're going to see a lot of ugliness coming to the surface a lot of truth 
being exposed, a lot of darkness being exposed. Nobody can run from karma. Uh, makes no difference who you are, okay? So for those of you who can take time out for yourself, if you can get away, great. You know, for, for some of you who are not able to do that, even if you just turned your phone off, you know, hang out, turn your phone off. Um, don't go on social media, you know, go out in nature, go for a drive. If you can get away for, for an evening or a few days or something, you know, wonderful. You have to take a retreat for you, time out for you, set some boundaries. Like I have to set boundaries every single day. Every single day I have to set new boundaries. It's crazy, but you have to. You have to make sure you're balanced together as one. Okay, please make sure you do that. You'll see a difference, okay? So make sure that you guys subscribe to my channel. Make some comments. Let me know what's going on, like I'm saying, what videos you like, if you want me to do any more types of videos. And for those of you, I do have a group on Facebook where I go live offering free psychic clairvoyant readings. Um, you can join my group, and I'm gonna put that information below in the description box. And for those of you who want to have a reading by me, my website is going to go there. Okay, so have a beautiful week, you guys, and please take it easy. Show some compassion for yourself. Show some love, okay? Sending you a lot of love and light and pranic healing energy to all of planet Earth and all of you, the species in yourself. Big boss man, this is for you. Namaste.